I'm Anthony. And I'm Matt. And this is Biological Succession. First off, I will be talking about primary succession. Primary succession is one of the two types of ecological succession. It occurs when an environment gets devoid of soil from things such as lava flows or glaciers. Primary succession begins when a pioneer species, such as a lichen, begins to stabilize a habitat. This starts on rock formations such as volcanoes or mountains or in a place with no organisms or soil. Once these pioneer plants start to decay, they form a thin layer of soil which grasses and some shrubs are able to live in. Then these shrubs and grasses further decay, creating more and more nutrient-rich soil. Once there's enough nutrient-rich soil, a climax community can be reached. A climax community is the maximum stability a community can have and the organisms are at their most complex. As you can see in the diagram, the first stage is the pioneer stage, in which organisms such as lichen start to grow on the rock. Once they start to decay, it moves into the intermediate stage, where grasses and shrubs start to grow. Finally, it moves into the climax community, where the biggest and tallest trees can now grow. Here is a short skit that demonstrates primary succession. Enjoy! I'm a glacier. I'm moving across the earth, breaking up soil. I am starting primary succession. Oh, hello there. I'm a lichen. I am what is known as a pioneer organism. I am the first type of organism to grow in succession, and I lead the way for other species to grow. This, will, this bare rock will be my new home, and I'll make way for grasses and plants and other types of trees to start growing. I'm really liking this new place. Hello, I am grass. Thanks to the decaying lichen, there is now a thin layer of soil, so I can grow, and I can get big and strong. The first grass type of grass to grow was the annual grass. This grass can grow new each year. Now I am perennial grass. This grass is much stronger and lasts a very long time. I will set the stage for the final types of species to grow and create a climax community. I am a small tree. I begin to appear after the perennial grasses make enough room for me in the soil. Soon, me and the, the, rest, the population of the rest of the small trees will begin to decay and make enough room for the larger trees to grow in our community and finish the climax community. I am a large tree. I am part of the climax community because I am one of the largest and most complex organisms. The environment does not get more stable than when I am around. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that beautifully done skit of ours. Uh, now I'm going to be talking about secondary succession. This type of succession occurs when there's no bare rock. The soil is still there, but the soil is either abandoned or is uh, hurt by a fire or something of that sort. So this is step one in which you just have a normal climax community. Nothing has happened yet. In step two, the soil is abandoned or is hit by a natural disaster shown in the diagram. Right now a fire is breaking up this, this uh, climax community and will soon begin succession. In step three, this climax community is burned all the way to the ground. Like I said in other cases, it doesn't have to be a natural disaster. It could be abandonment, like I had mentioned, but in this specific example, uh, it's being burned to the ground by a fire 
and this will officially uh, start a new entire community. Here in step four, the community is completely burnt to the ground and is now ready fully to begin succession. In step five, annual grasses, such as in primary succession, begin to grow. This will start secondary succession. This, these grasses will break down and make room for new species, such as flowers, plant, other types of plants, and trees to begin growth. Next, as you can see in the diagram, small bushes and grasses and trees are beginning to grow. This is just like in primary succession. In secondary succession, the same thing happens, and the rest of secondary succession will basically be the same steps as primary succession. Soon, larger trees will begin to grow. See, the difference between step six and step seven is only a slight change. As you can see, those grasses and small bushes that were growing in, in step six are now basically just getting bigger in step seven. This community you see in step seven is extremely close to the climax community. So this is the final climax community. As you can see, those smaller trees no longer exist in this ecosystem. Small bushes uh, begin to regrow and the largest trees are now present. So this is as big as the ecosystem is going to get. It's called the climax community, as I've said. So this climax community is subject to succession again in case of another disaster. Now that I've explained that, here is another fun short skit on secondary succession. Climax community. I am a farm ecosystem. I'm pretty much the biggest thing around. Everyone loves me. I am the coolest thing. All my friends love me. I am just the best thing that's ever happened to this earth. Smab crackle pop. I'm on fire and I just burned down this whole ecosystem, leaving nothing but some dirt. Hey guys, so I'm bare soil. As you can Clearly and just seen, I have just been burned to the ground by a random wildfire. My community no longer exists, and I am ready to begin succession. Hello there. I am the grass. Since some roots and seeds may have survived from the forest fire, there is no need for pioneer organisms, because secondary succession can start with me, the grass. Next in secondary succession is me, the climax community. So after the soil has started to grow grass, shrubs begin to appear and, sm and bushes and smaller trees. Finally, they, this will result in me, the climax community. Here, I am again subject to abandonment and natural disaster and succession can begin again. Boy, I'm so happy that I'm, I'm a climax community now. I'm finally back to my original state. I'm all good. I can just hang out here now. Snap, crackle, pop. Uh, hey, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit or relearned a little bit about primary and secondary succession. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.